Zero. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a Cairo printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further... crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground and they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order assigned.
beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Pleasant journey. small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors.
construction complete. Thanks for the help. for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated Kyrillian levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you could... 